Hello, and welcome to Phil's workroom. I'm Phil, and this is my workroom. Well, this is my desk in my workroom. Uh, so today what I was going to talk about is automatic paint shakers. Uh, some people in your life will probably wonder why you need an automatic paint shaker to shake a ounce or half an ounce of paint. Well, because uh, automatic paint shakers do, uh, shake the paint much more quickly. Um, honestly, it can take like three minutes to get the precipitate, which is the solid part of the paint, um, or the, the part that settles out as the precipitate, to get it mixed up with uh, the solvent and everything in the paint here. And that's just wasted time. This is not our job. This is a hobby. And I'd much rather spend that three minutes painting than I would, you know, shaking, 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 shaking a, a bottle of paint. So I set out to try to find an adequate um, automatic paint shaker. And, and there's all kinds of videos about this. There are a lot of different designs. Um, some of them are very complicated. Uh, you can buy some over-the-counter products, like there's a, a uh, fairly inexpensive fingernail polish shaker that you can get. That you can just strap your little bottles in. Uh, I know someone that had one of those and it, it broke and this person went through like three of them a year. But anyway, one of the things that you want to do to make sure that your paint is adequately mixed is make sure is uh make sure that there is a something in the paint like a bb or a bead to help it to get stirred when you're agitating it when you're shaking it rather like the little marble or the ball bearing that's in spray paint cans now you can buy these little balls commercially and i don't know how much they cost uh however much they cost is too much because all you need is a little clean rock and if you don't want to take the time to you know dig up dirt and sift it and find little rocks and rinse them you can get aquarium gravel and i've got some here in this tupperware well it's not a tupperware i guess tupperware is trademarked so i guess i've got it here in this plastic container sorry tupperware um, this is just aquarium gravel, which is little rocks, and the, the, the color on them is usually uh, an epoxy coating. So uh, it's not going to dissolve or discolor your paint. When I get a new container of paint, I just drop two or three little stones in it. And that works to agitate the paint when I'm shaking it. I've tried several different DIY designs of paint shaker. Now, one of them is I took a one of these style clamps and I put it in a jigsaw, a reciprocating saw, and I'll show you. Oh wait, but the uh, sorry, the the problem I had when you clamp your little bottle in here and you start reciprocating it with the saw is the bottles would launch out of here and then I'd have to go find them under the desk. So I made an alter. I'm just showing you what this looks like unaltered. So I made an alteration to a clamp by adding a piece of a bottle here and so you can put the bottle in here and I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a piece of foam rubber inside there. You can stick the bottle in there. Clamp, 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 clamp. There we are. Clamp it shut. And that keeps the bottle from flying out. And then you pull the trigger to agitate it. Yay, stirred paint. Okay. Uh, but I don't really like this design. It's... Um, to me it's annoying, but I, I just find it annoying, so that's all there is to it. So I continue to look for another design. I was looking... Let me, uh, 
Sorry, I'm back. I was looking online, and they have the Vortex spinners. Now, these are can be pretty expensive, and you've probably seen them. If not, you can look it up. It's a laboratory mixing machine. It looks, you know, kind of like a little dome with a little rubber top, and the, well, the idea is they can take a test tube or a bottle, and you place it on the device, and it automatically starts spinning and vibrating, and brrr, shakes up the paint or whatever chemicals you've, you're trying to mix up. Now, those are kind of expensive, and I really didn't want to buy something else that's going to be taking up space on my work surface because when I'm working on a project, when I'm working on a, a model or anything else, my work surface fills up with tools and parts and bits and, you know, a, a soda right here and whatever pretty quickly and I don't want one more thing on my, my desktop. So I continue to look online. Uh, one very clever fellow copied by several other clever fellows we take a rubber cane end, and I just happen to have a few of these in my uh, supplies. You, you would take this, one of these, and drill a hole through it, and then put a bolt through it. And then, I'm sorry, I'm not actually doing this, but I, I saw the idea, and it gave me a better idea, so I'm just telling you how to do it. And then he would chuck it into a drill, and then, you could put the Vallejo bottles, but only the Vallejo size bottles, in it and give it a spin and that would mix it up. That's a very good idea. It fits very well. But it only works with these. And then, it doesn't take up very much space. There's a lot of advantages to it. You, you kind of need to have a, 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 a drill with a, with a, a chuck. You can put it in. I, I guess you could just spin it like this. <laughs> that doesn't seem very effective. Okay, so thanks, thanks to whoever invented this idea because it gave me a great idea too. Now, you can spend a lot of money on this project, but please don't. This is what I came up with. Sockets. Uh, this is a 15 sixteenths. This is a 1 and an eighth. And this is 1 and a quarter. Now, these are quite large and can be expensive. But, if you don't have these and you want to try this, go to a pawn shop. Any good pawn shop is going to have just containers of screwdrivers and containers of wrenches and containers of these sockets. Because guys buy tools or girls buy tools, probably guys, let's just be fair, guys do it. They buy a bunch of tools and they figure out they don't know how to work on cars, and they have to take it to a mechanic, and so they pawn their tools to try to pay the mechanic. That's just the way it is. So, uh, take advantage of that. Go buy these sockets if you don't have them, or if someone in your household doesn't have them, buy these sockets. Now, the other thing you'll need is a drill... And this is a um, but about a socket adapter, so I just clicks on there, and then these will click on to that, and they will spin. So what does that got to do with mixing paint? Well, let me show you. Let's see here. This is just a hobby paint, and you can see it's 
quite separated. It's uh, you know, folk art metallic. They always separate terribly. So there's a couple of layers. I don't know if you can see the two different colors of solvent in there, but look at this. Well, it turns out I need both hands. Fits. This is a uh, more expensive paint, golden, but it's, you can see it's very separated. The pigments out. Fits. And then here's your Vallejo. You can see it is also very separated. You can see the liquidy um, solvent up here. Fits. And then all you have to do is attach it. Make sure it's all the way down. Now I assure you, this is very thoroughly mixed. Um, and it doesn't take up very much space. I won't go to all the trouble of, you know what, I'm not going to pull this off either. Um, I need both hands. You know what, I'm going to do it just to prove I can do it. Come off of there. Yeah, okay, thanks. Um, so yeah, this, this doesn't take up very much space at all. It doesn't damage the bottles. It takes up this much space. If you go and get these at a pawn shop, it's probably going to cost 75 cents. Um, you can probably find one of these socket adapters also. All three of these sockets are the same, the same size head uh, or fitting, so I didn't have to have three different ones for this. But this is stuff that I had around the house already from working on cars. Uh, you might have it too. So there you go. Um, that's your uh, homemade hardware, very inexpensive Vortex paint mixer. And like I said, don't forget to put a little cheap or free stone in your paint to help it stir around. Um, I didn't buy these full price. I was at a secondhand store and I saw a a sack, unopened sack of these that somebody was donating or had to, it was uh, getting rid of at the, the thrift store. So I just grabbed it. Um, you can use these little rocks and dioramas and you can use them in your paint as agitators. All right. Well, that's it for today. I hope you found this useful. Like and subscribe. Bye.